When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth. Okay, it's a little different. Usually, me can makes like parody type stuff or cartoons or like just making fun of different things. But this is a story time, my first slumber party. And knowing me, Cam, this is probably where all his weirdness started. So let's leave a like and get straight into it. Hello, I'm Meat Canyon. I thought I would take a break from the parodies for a moment and tell you all a story from my life. A little chapter out of my book called My First Slumber Party. I was eight years old. The sun was beginning to set and I was full of excitement for the night ahead. Me and my friend Luke had been hanging out for a couple hours, playing video games and exchanging our collection of Pokemon cards. Okay, Luke's mother usual. had a gorgeous smile, offering us a oh, never a, supply of bananas. It's like a POV, hold up. Luke's mother had a gorgeous smile, offering us a never-ending supply of banana slices for snacks. Banana slices? Night, at least, so I thought. Time for bed! We have church in the morning, and we have to get up real early. An ocean of disappointment flooded over me. What? I was not aware this was a part of the plan. When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth pastor says they're- Because why the freak are you so happy to die, bro? What the freaking you a little too excited. You're already creepy. So happy. I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. Like good reasons, but nah, like. Waiting for me. I'll race you to my room. You can't say that and race, race you to your room. Alone to traverse the darkness of his house all by myself. Standing confused, I knew I had to push forward. I wasn't going to be the weird kid sitting alone at a friend's house. I had far too much pride. Like it's already it's just weird. Sink, washing dishes normally. But what like you should never leave your like your company somewhere alone in your house. Like how are you gonna just leave him in the living room? Like what? People. Is she crying? While giving us a never ending supply of cut up bananas, Luke's mother recklessly put the banana peels all over the Pokemon cards. Most notably, my Blaziken card, which I was obsessed with, since he was my starter in Ruby. I caught her attention by saying Hey, my dad paid a lot for these cards. She approached me with her beautiful smile. Would you like a snack before bed? I'm sorry for the tears. Mr. Roberts hasn't been acting normal lately. He's been... Luke's mother began to tremble talking about something, but I couldn't pay any attention. Yeah, husband. From the corner of my eye, I noticed something. A 40-count bag of combination pizza rolls. No, you're not. Okay. You notice this. You don't notice the freaking banana in the freezer and the freaking weird looking meats. A 40 count bag of combination pizza rolls. How is that weird? Which was fucked because all she offered all night was cut up bananas. <laughs> it's like, if you have pizza rolls, why not just throw a couple in the oven for your guest? Let alone a child. But I digress. Hey, I'm up here. Come on. Come. It's time for prayer before bed. Who is that? Is dad? No, I ain't trusting his dad. You hear what the mom said? I know y'all heard. Tell him he ain't acting right. Wait. Who's some shadows, bro? The freak? Mr. Prayer. Wow, why is it in my face like this? Bro, what is that light? It's hurting my eyes looking at it. Hey, do you want to play Donkey Konga? I didn't give an answer. I remained silent and still. Suddenly, I was blinded by the light from Luke's TV. And there he was, hitting the plastic bongo drum. Look at his dad, though. Himself. But I noticed something. I noticed that the door was still cracked, and the father was still lingering, looking into the room. 
right at my eyes. They got obsession with bananas. Banana and started to eat it. The slow rotation of his jaw grating like steel on steel. His eyes never blinking, only staring. Forever staring. What is happening? And that's where my memory ends. And I have always been fascinated with religion and the afterlife ever since then. Though it leaves a sour taste in my mouth with a hint of banana. Take care, everyone. Good what? night, everybody.